His opponents saw this as an opportunity. They didn't only talk about it in the lobby. The men whom he trusted turned their back on him. Your father doesn't give up that easily, as you know, but they really put a lot of pressure on him to quit. Today, he'll make a statement. He'll say that he withdrew his candidacy. He has given so much. Is this how it ends? Is this how that man gets beaten up? Okay, that's enough. It's okay, I don't want you to comfort me. But care about him a little bit. You're responsible for these things too. I'm sorry, mother. I fell in love with someone. I trusted him. I'm so sorry. Hello? Who is it? You called me? I've called you a dozen times and you didn't answer. I was busy moving out. I have something to talk to you about. Okay, I'm free now, we can talk. No, not now. What then? Sometime later today. Where do you want to meet? I'll call you and tell you the place. We shouldn't be seen outside. It's not right for me to come over there. You should come here. Okay. I'll text you the address. Okay. See you later. See you later. Is that you? You expecting someone else? No, of course not. Can I come in? Come on in. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's so beautiful. Mm. Enjoy your new house. Thanks. It's wonderful, wonderful. You're really smart, Mustafa. Yeah, well done. Have a seat. I won't stay long. I just wanted to see you briefly. You're so smart, Mustafa. This is all yours now. You're a lucky man. Whoever touches you finds luck. I'm not on the road now. I'm working at the company now. I won't get behind the steering wheel anymore. Congratulations. Ishmael's in the office, which is in Bulgaria. Like I said, you bring luck to others. Money is sweet, right? One gets used to it. Once you get a taste, you can't give it up. You're not here to talk about money, are you? I'm here to give a report. I've been watching her. She never leaves the house. She went to the supermarket once or twice, and she bought something to eat, and came back, and uh, no one comes to her house. I mean, she's been living normally. Don't worry, Mustafa. I have my eyes on Asu. I'll call you if there's something important.
Hi, welcome. Everything is going well in the Yasaran Republic, I guess. Kind of, yes. At least I'm not complaining. Come in. It's so beautiful. What a great change in a very short time. It is. I wonder if the Yasarans are being so nice to their other employees. I don't know. I mind my own business. It must be the reporters. I'm so sick and tired of them. She isn't answering because of the number. Then text her. You paid a hundred liras. Coffee? I don't want anything. You've disappointed me, Mustafa. Ah, uh, so you're here to insult me. You'll insult me and leave, right? I can't believe what you did to Fatma Ghul. She's telling the truth, Mustafa. She went through that disgusting thing. How could you give a statement against her? You lied to the prosecutor. You shut your mouth and you tell me what you want. I want the criminal punished. Then you tell me what you know. You have an answer for everything. How could you be Yasaran's best man while you were their driver? You don't have an answer for that. Why are they protecting you? Why give you so much money? How are you going to explain They only it? give me what I deserve. What can you or they know about deserving? You didn't give Fatma Ghul what she truly deserves. I told you to tell me what you know. You destroyed that girl's life. And also mine. Tell me what you know. You already knew it when I told you about their names. Don't deny Tell it. Tell me what you know. What kind of a man are you? You're still trying to cover up the disgusting act. You're trying to make a profit while that girl has no one strong behind her. She deserved your loyal support. You're trying to turn her disaster into money with no shame. For some extra money, you're just standing by their side. Ugh. You already knew it since the beginning. Stop! When the news was on every newspaper in the town. Stop! <sighs> Your husband, Salim, who was your fiancé, then was accused first. Stop! On your wedding day, Fatma Ghul called and told you about it. Why didn't you say anything? You wanted to be a Yasaran first. You wanted to be Meltem Yasaran. Didn't you shut your mouth for your father's job? Oh, please. <sighs> Do you think that we are so different? Hmm? You don't have the courage to talk, yet you still want to take revenge on everyone. You want to take revenge just like me. There's a time for everything. What do you think you're doing? There's nothing impossible in life. Everything's possible, everything. You don't know yourself yet. You're telling me who I am.
darling, please, please, I need you here. I love you, please.